hours ago. Man, we were talking about two tornadoes yes. that touched down, one in Forest Grove, one down in the valley near Sayo. Much calmer today. Much calmer today and a little bit cooler for some too, yeah. especially in the valley right now. Um, those snow levels are actually going to increase starting tomorrow as a warm front arrives, bringing in warmer temperatures. But for now, we're still holding on to that snow that we received over the last uh, 36 hours. Roughly four new inches of snow right there in Mounted Meadows at the base. Now your temperature at Mounted Meadows is 34 degrees. Here's that warm front still sitting offshore on its way over. Showers right now. Really focused on northwest Washington at the moment. Stronger winds coming from the south. Uh, the strongest winds, though, still offshore about 20 miles or so. Uh, between about 20 to 25 miles per hour, those winds will be rushing through until about 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's when that gale warning expires. Now, as we check out Stoller Winery, what a pretty picture it is. Nice green, lush, nice contrast compared to the sky in the background. But your temperature in Portland right now is 54 degrees, 2.47 wind out of the northwest at about 6 miles per hour. So we want to focus on timing tomorrow because I know a lot of folks are going to be out trying to trick or treat. So here we go. First, want to start with tonight. Really heavy showers will be rolling through ahead of this front, and as they do, all the way from Astoria out to Longview, down through Portland and over to Sandy, some really heavy pockets of rain will be coming through. But not lasting all that long. As soon as we get to about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, then things start to break up and ease up. Here we go, 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Noticing south of Portland down through the valley, you might actually have a dry break right around 3 o'clock. But all areas north of Portland, you're still dealing with the rain. Now let's go a little bit further into the evening. Here's 630 in the evening. Now we're starting to see with this high resolution model that we might even have more of a dry break just here along I-5. We'll see if it's that perfect by the time we get to you tomorrow. But there you go. You still have a chance of rain, but also looking at a chance for some dry conditions in between. Thursday about 5 o'clock in the morning, seeing more of the same more. That rain is just hugging on to the coast range and also the western slopes of the Cascades. Tomorrow afternoon, a temperature of about 59 degrees for you at the beach. Inland Valley temperatures right around 60. Over to central Oregon, upper 50s. Morning temperatures in the low to mid 40s. And through the gorge, Hood River tomorrow 57 for a high. The Dow 61 and government camp 50 degrees. Between now and Wednesday night, we could pick up an additional three tenths to four tenths of an inch of rain for inland valleys. Now, going through Thursday and Friday, some heavier totals on the way. We could pick up to an additional inch of rain at the coast there near Astoria. Here's a seven day forecast. Yep, it looks pretty wet all week long. You will have little breaks in between. Friday, the potential to see uh, thunderstorms coming through, so we'll keep our eyes closely glued to the radar, just as we were yesterday. Yikes. That's a that's a wet seven day there. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thanks, Natasha. Sure. Well, coming up next, Apple reveals its latest updates.